full circle. You know what, even though Abby's not here, I'm glad the girls are here. Abby resigned from the team. She kicked us out of her studio. She lives there, literally. In light of her legal woes, Abby is an emotional wreck, showing up with her makeup half done and her hair and curlers, wasting time, eating our snacks, and it's been difficult for all of us, but especially for the kids. So did you come mostly for the girls, that they're here, or because Abby told you to? She had given me the routines and the competition info, so we are still competing as planned. We'll take it by day, <laughs> week by week, and we'll see. Okay. Normally, the first day of rehearsal, Abby would have a pyramid on the wall. That's not really my thing. I'm just here to tell you guys what's going on this week and to get the routine started as fast as I can. We are going to Fierce Dance Competition in Lawndale, California. <laughs> but no solos this week. Three duets. Oh, my God. So the first duet, Nia and Kalani, you guys are <laughs> It's kind of a spin on an African routine. Hearing that Mia and Kalani have a duet, bingo. She can pull out a win. Doing an African dance duet, I think it will be enough to give her a little boost in confidence after such a harrowing day. It's something that I don't normally do, so I am going to have some help with this. Uh, Travis Payne's assistant, Aisha Francis, is gonna come in and work with you guys. I'm super excited to be working with Aisha again. We haven't seen her since we did our Travis Payne dance. She was super nice and she really pushed us to our fullest. Next, I have one more, who I don't think has ever been paired together. The duet is called The Odd Couple. They already know, yes. Kendall and Brandon. <laughs> Kendall is kind of the hardcore, dark, punk rock chick, while Brandon would be the complete opposite. So what part is the harder part, exactly? It's a duet, they're gonna do the same thing. It's the same thing? I was just wondering. She wants Bryn to have the harder part and yeah. the, all the leg tricks and all that stuff that the little kids do. Maybe you should just oh, be seriously. thankful you have a duet because there are two kids, I four kids, thankful. four I kids thankful. on this team that don't have one. Bryn, if Abby were here, she would say, your mother just blew it for you. I think Ashley is so desperate that she's throwing my kid under the bus yet again. that you all are here. I got a call that you all wanted to come and take a class. I was thrilled. It's the first time they're competing in oh, African dance inspired routine. Nice. And this will be fun. I'm super excited. Never be afraid to try, especially something you haven't done. That's being adventurous and that's being a real artist. There's a difference between being a performer and being an artist. And I would wish artistry on both of you. Okay? okay? All right, let me see how y'all hang. All right, here we go. All right, Miss Marshall, take them away. All right, leave us there. Let's go. One, two, and three. I'm really nervous about this African duet that Kalani and I have. It's intense. I just have to remember that I have a whole team that supports me. No, well, you should tell us. We want you to come here if you need to. Did Debbie Allen just say we could train here while Abby is gone? I am speechless right now. You all did so well. And this is not a normal technique for you. I was very proud of what you did today. That's Thank great. Thank you. Come back. Because we do flamenco and hip hop and Cirque du Soleil technique. We do everything. I'm anxious to see how you're going to transform everything that you've accomplished. And you're so young. So never be afraid to try. Success is a journey. It is always in the making. Keep expanding your horizons. Coming here was wonderful. It was and happy. they're welcome to come again. Welcome to come again. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, you. You call me and let me know. Debbie Allen's approach is the complete opposite of what we experience normally at the LDC. I think Nia needed to see it and feel it. Abby, for years, has this whole mantra, everyone's replaceable. Guess what, in LA, you're a teacher and you might be replaced as well. So we have our odd couple here. Kendall, you're kind of like the hardcore, like punk rock chick. 
Well, Brynn is like dainty, pretty. Okay, ready? I love when Kendall dances. That's what we're here for. What I don't like about this duet is I have to deal with Ashley all week. Ashley thinks Brynn is Maddie's replacement. She's pretty awful. Oh, that's awful. Kendall, that's not your character at all. I just think the challenge with a dance like this is if they don't get into character and act the heck out of it, it's going to be flat. Kendall's really only interested in being the pretty girl. When Kendall's given a compelling character, she kind of blows it off. Kendall, I don't think that you told your story to the audience. I think when you're in agony, you can't go. Brynn's not a member of the ALDC yet, but she should be. You know, Kendall is old news. I'm really doing my best to keep the peace with Jill. I just don't want Kendall to mess this up for her. All right, G, thank you. Bye. We have to get them clean in one day. Yes. It's really stressful because they've never done this and have one day to do it. Can we watch? Please, please, okay. please, please. It's been a really rough week for Kalani because she's learning African dancing and Bollywood dancing. I spoke to her last night and I've never seen Kalani so stressed in my life. It's a really hard week. You guys cannot come out here having anything you have to start taking this serious. It's not a game. Competition is tomorrow. My name is on this now, too, so y'all have to pull up. And I don't know why you dance like you have a backpack of bricks on you. And I don't know why you just look like you feel absolutely nothing. How do you dance like that? Tomorrow's competition, and they're just learning the choreography. Did you actually see me and Kalani looking like they're going to cry? They're just emotionally drained. This is a tall order and I hope the girls can pull it off. Please welcome to the stage act number 28, Isolations. just so proud of Mia and Kalani. Not only of their dance performance, but of the people that they're becoming. They didn't crumble and fall. They didn't have a pity party. It was incredible. I'm so proud of them. Oh my gosh. Please welcome to the stage at number 26, The Odd Couple. Ashley is so worried about my 12-year-old little girl playing this character, this dark, seedy, punk rocker. Now all this pressure is on Kendall. You know what? I have faith in Kendall. She can do anything you give her.
once again, Candle is given a character and she can't do it. She just doesn't put the energy into it that it takes to pull it off. Bryn and Kendall's duo is going up against Kalani and Nia's African dance number. Our duo is looking kind of pitiful next to theirs. It was all, all yeah. of them did very well. I don't know. I do think Kendall could have played it up a little bit more. I'm sure you do think that. Yeah, I, uh, well, who are you to judge Kendall? Like, that's stupid. Because it's a duo. I think your eye was drawn to Kendall because she was so dynamic. I don't know. I think about Bryn that. may have been a little bit boring. I don't agree. So, what happened with Bryn's turn? She was late both times. Every time we're talking about Bryn or anybody else that just butts in, I really think she needs to keep her mouth shut when we're talking about other kids because I'm tired <laughs> of talking to her. Well, here's something. Don't talk about other kids. We and were she talking about the duo. Bryn. We were talking about the duo, Jeez. Jill. Good afternoon. Are we ready to do our award ceremony? Here we go. In third place overall, act number 26, the Odd Couple. Oh my God, third. <laughs> Teen Advanced Duo Trio. I've been more stressed out than I've ever been because we really had to pull through with a new style of dance, and I know that things are not going to be good if we don't win. We have a first overall champion going to drum roll, please. Act number twenty-eight, isolation. They did it. Nia and Kalani won first place in their division. Despite the obstacles they had to endure, they were able to push through and find that inner strength to achieve success.